name is Diana Gustafsson, and I, the I coordinator of SIGTUNA. SIGTUNA municipality mm -hmm. is a member of the organization I call, which stands for International Cities of Refuge Network. It's a network that uh, offers shelter uh, or safe havens for artists and writers at risk, at risk because of their work. Uh, we are up to 50 member cities now throughout the world, and about 15 in Sweden. And this, in Sigtuna, we make this in close cooperation with the foundation. And Ragi Sarakunu is our first i called guest writer. He's a well-known Turkish publisher and writer, and he has been subject to harassment, heavy fines, imprisonment, imprisonment because of your publishing in Turkey. And you have been struggling for human rights, freedom of the press through 40 years or more, I think. And I, if you haven't had the time yet, please ha have a good look at this exposition, <laughs> that's hard to pronounce, uh, that on the free word and bad books produced by Ragit Sarakoli. And Per Helin, the owner of Publit, a small but fast growing company, I think, that will make it easier for people to publish and sell books, simply to democratize publishing. So, welcome you both, and the floor is yours. Do we need the microphones or, or not? Shall we use the microphones? Yes, right. please. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's do that. Uh, yeah, I, I, can, um, I can start off this conversation. Um, I'm very honored to, to be here together with, with uh, Chip. And, uh, uh, the whole idea about this was that um, some people thought that we might should meet uh, some time back in order to, to discuss um, uh, freedom of speech and, uh, and also censorship and and um, kind of in, in, in aspect uh, of the new so to speak digital world and what happens with publishing and and the freedom of speech and censorship when uh, new kind of techniques is given to people to publish books in a much easier way both financially where you don't have to take the same amount and kind of risk and also there is uh, another, uh, other new ways to actually break into to borders with literature that normally wouldn't find its way in. Uh, and um, the company that I founded, Public, we, we have an idea about making it easier to pub publish books. Uh, and a lot of the books that we are customers, which is uh, then obviously the, the, the publishers, they, they use it for publishing books that normally wouldn't find the market. So that's where it all started. And, and I, I read about you and your work, and, and, and it's really in, impressed, and it's an in, impressive uh, work you've done. So uh, maybe give a little background about being a publisher in, in, in Turkey, and then we can, can you take it from there? I, I don't know. Uh, thank you. It's very really, uh, interesting. Uh, it's really, it's really interesting. Uh, after the uh, Russian uh, experience upstairs, um, uh, because there are uh, many similarities with uh, Russia and Turkey controlling uh, publishing, controlling uh, press, journalists. Also, some similarities like uh, the last level. Uh, of the censorship uh, that is uh, to kill the journalist or, or writer. It is very bad uh, tradition of uh, Russia and Turkey uh, to kill, open the way to kill uh, the writers and journalists. Um, in 2004 I was in Stavanger uh, with uh, Anna Politovskaya and I was shocked when uh, she was uh, shot uh, one year later in Russia because she was an honest 
uh, uh, journalist and uh, she was the best uh, reporter uh, of uh, Chechenia war. It was a dirty war uh, by uh, Russia and uh, unfortunately uh, the bill of uh, that uh, a dirty war now uh, paid by the world uh, because uh, after uh, suppressing uh, uh, acceptable uh, demands, then uh, the leadership got by the jihadism in Chechenia, and it, later it became not only a Russian uh, phenomena, uh, but it became uh, also a world phenomena. And uh, what she tried uh, to do, uh, Anna Politovskaya tried uh, to show a dirty war to Russian uh, uh, people. And at that time there were a mother's movement against the dirty war, Russian mothers, because their son was dying uh, there. And uh, very similarity happened uh, in, uh, in 90s in Turkey. In 90s there, is, there was again a dirty war uh, against uh, Kurdish uh, demands and that uh, time only in my newspaper uh, 25 uh, uh, journalists or distributors were killed and uh, one uh, of them was 72 years old and uh, uh, Musa Anter, he was a Kurdish intellectual and the youngest was uh, three months journalist Ferhat Tepe you can see uh, the documentary uh, about his murder uh, by the uh, army that period. Then what the reflection uh, of uh, the justice, justice uh, must uh, accept uh, this book as a uh, proof and uh, then to make a file against the uh, responsible of the uh, kidnapping and to kill a young journalist, but instead of the book was banned and uh, we were uh, convicted. But later uh, we went to the Strasbourg court and the Strasbourg court is, uh, found the Turkish government guilty and Turkish government paid us uh, money for compensation by means of uh, Foreign Ministry of Turkey. And we use this book again uh, to publish another uh, book against the taboos. Uh, in Turkey, uh, to kill uh, the journalists uh, begin very early, uh, during the last Ottoman uh, government uh, in uh, 1910. Later, it this tradition uh, came. At least today it stopped 2007 after the killing my friend Ram Ding, uh, Armenian uh, journalist. Uh, you can see from uh, the exhibition only one sentence uh, reason uh, to kill him uh, about the uh, how nationalism poisoned uh, our blood. So this, uh, they made a comment, they said, oh, you define Turkish blood as poison. And, uh, and he was convicted. And then, but it was six months something, but it wasn't uh, enough for the deep state. And, uh, and he was killed in front of the newspaper, like Anna Politiskaya. So this is another kind of censorship. But Turkey, uh, Turkish tradition for uh, censorship, not eager too much now uh, to censor uh, the books. They are focused on now internet publishing because internet publishing gave a big uh, freedom to distribute books. If the book banned, you can publish the books by internet. And uh, now after uh, China and Iran, uh, Turkey is, uh, has the record uh, banning internet publishings, YouTube, uh, uh, 
and other sites uh, went uh, banned. And uh, it is worse than uh, to ban a book. At least a book you need a decision of a court. But now it is an administration of decision with the new laws. An authority inside the state uh, touched the tush and uh, you can not reach any more a site uh, dangerous. But also uh, there is again uh, great uh, options uh, to pass this prevention. And uh, for example, a book of a journalist, uh, Ahmed Sheikh, you can see uh, his book, his book captured before the publishing. Also, uh, police uh, organize operations about in daily newspapers, uh, uh, which they have a copy of that book. But at any rate, uh, is a really big freedom internet at one site. And uh, the book uh, published uh, in uh, internet, and 30,000 people about uh, 30,000 people could reach the book. And it was a risk for them because uh, it's the controlling system they may uh, face, but they were, there were enough courageous uh, readers. So it became meaningless. And some years later, uh, he is uh, released. But interestingly, now the team organized these arrestings is arrested, like Stalin, Russia, you know, in Stalin, Russia, cleansing. Uh, the, after the first period of the cleansing, uh, second level, uh, another cleansing uh, against the uh, organizer of first wave of cleansing. Because a dictatorship, authoritarian regime, wants uh, to control everything, and it is a risk, uh, uh, strong mechanism for them also. It is happening now in Turkey. Let's see. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, we were talking last night, Rashid, and I think that one thing that is very important to discuss when it comes to censorship and books is that nowadays we have a situation where like the fast media like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and so on, and social media take a lot of place in these new kind of revolutions and we talk about freedom of speech in these channels but it's, um, I think we tend to forget the book as an object in this, uh, um, in this debate and we, because the book is really easy yeah. to censorship and we were talking about that yesterday that it's, uh, if you look at the world today there's most regions are controlled by few distributors but because distribution as a business is uh, uh, normally something that you have to do in scale. So it's few players, very big, and uh, companies like Amazon and there's, there's other companies like national companies and it's very easy to control for a state that wants to, to, to have censorship. So, meaning that uh, first, I mean, the book is really easy to cut off from, uh, from people like censorship and, and often the companies are big and and uh, the government have a lot of um, insights in these companies and publishing houses and that comes, uh, I think, for, for most of the countries in the world. So, it's, uh, uh, I think it's important that in, in this, uh, because you said to me yesterday that there was hundreds and hundreds of books that, that uh, haven't been on the market in Turkey for, for ages. And all these books tend to be, be forgotten about. And the only thing you see is the fast media and, and what people write on blogs and Facebook. And, and on these channels you can't even uh, be sure who's behind this. And we yeah. were talking about, for example, Wikipedia. I mean, it's a great media, but when it comes to this matter, you know, people tend to, to change the entries on, on Wikipedia in order to actually make propaganda. But this is where I think that the, the, the work around the book as an object is really important because it's hard for someone that wants to to uh, to control people to actually sit down and write a book, because you know it's, it's nothing. It's not like write something on Twitter or Facebook. You have to sit down, even if you have a bad intention. It's really hard to actually write the book, and this is where I think it, it's, it becomes really interesting if we can use the new kind of digital solutions, print on demand solutions, and, and and with e-books as well. You, you, I mean, for example, we, we did publish uh, uh, 
I don't know the English word for that, but like um, the equivalent for the Bible, but for Falun Gong, you know, the Chinese movement. Uh, and there was um, a person that published that in our system. Um, and uh, after that we had loads and loads of attack from China where they were trying to, to close their service down and we were had a lot of strange calls and you know you know people around us that were kind kind of wondering what we were doing and we didn't know it happened because our system is a, is a some you can actually make your own account and then publish books so we didn't notice but we noticed when they were starting to become more and more hack attacks from the Chinese uh, IP addresses and this was really interesting to see that uh, in order to stop this distribution, they had to, to actually shut our service down. Because the publisher that was using our, our system as a proxy service, if you see what I mean, he, he could just go on and move the, the publishing platform to, others, to other websites. And when the Chinese government shut that website down, well, then they can open a new one and put another shop there, and, and they can have hundreds of shops all over the place. And this is where there is actually a chance for the book again to to rise and, and to be, a, be an important object in this um, uh, areas with, with hard censorship. And I, I can, there's a lot of interesting uh, things about that. So, well, what's your what's your view yes. on that? Um, you are right about uh, Wikipedia. Uh, we uh, publish many books uh, about uh, Armenian books. Uh, a very important scholar, uh, Wakan uh, Dadrian, professor. Uh, at American universities. When you read uh, his biography in Wikipedia, uh, you may astonish because uh, there was a longest part about uh, how at the university he was uh, fired uh, because of a, uh, a sexual abuse. And uh, sexual abuse uh, is uh, try to kiss a young uh, student, sure, it is not acceptable uh, with aging, you know, uh, some uh, are uh, uh, the same uh, sex, uh, they sometimes be, may be strange. Uh, and the conservative university fired him. But in Wikipedia, more than uh, his contribution of him as a scholar researching about uh, Armenian genocide, they tell this story and we don't know who is responsible. He wrote this uh, because uh, he was attacked by the uh, de denialist uh, writers in Turkey. We were put in trial because of his uh, books at the end, but uh, we uh, win. Uh, so book is always uh, important. Uh, last night we talked another kind uh, of censorship by means of the marketing because uh, publishing became in the world a huge sector independent publishing became more and more a part of the uh, big uh, publishing uh, companies uh, and then uh, it is another kind of invasion of uh, book stands bookshops uh, because it's uh, like uh, producing uh, potatoes producing other uh, materials uh, so uh, like ICA stands in the stands uh, of the bookshops uh, uh, they are measuring uh, how a book uh, transform in short time to money so for uh, more uh, scientific academic or research books uh, less chance to uh, have a place at the big uh, bookshops and uh, and then uh, internet uh, became another uh, freedom for distributing. But you are working also on this very important. And uh, uh, for example, uh, when the reader go to a bookshop in Istanbul, they ask our books. The reply is uh, it's not uh, available. It is uh, out of print but the books are waiting uh, more than uh, 10 years at the uh, stocks uh, and they after three four times demanding the book uh, were demanded by the bookshop 
uh, but in, by internet uh, distribution, uh, we could uh, at least reach our old books because our books are important uh, for research as, as, uh, to be used as first not. Uh, so people can reach now by we know uh, this way. And how is it because uh, the printing houses in, in Turkey, for example, are they also controlled in the in the matter of I mean, do do they need to report what kind of books they print to the government? Uh, no, no. Uh, you know, Turkey is uh, part of the European system after 1949, member of the European Council, also part of NATO. So there are also some limits for Turkish authoritarian governments also. So uh, it is, they tried uh, after the military coup, for example, to make responsible the printers because which books they printed, not only publisher. Uh, that time we made a campaign as publishers, uh, we prevented uh, so, at least we save the printers, but printers m might be responsible if they don't show uh, a publisher or a writer responsible that book. At third level, publisher uh, is responsible. Uh, if uh, they succeed to make a responsible legally the publisher, it would be a uh, self-censorship mechanism because the printer would begin to check what kind of is printing. But because of that uh, trials, uh, especially uh, big uh, publishers don't want a uh, problem with the courts, especially uh, ex-state uh, uh, security courts or later extraordinary courts uh, it was a fear. So many uh, publishers, especially uh, big companies, uh, begin a kind of auto-censorship, not to select problematic topics, uh, uh, to escape from Kurdish question of Armenian genocide issue. Uh, for example, 2013, uh, 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 Academics uh, from uh, Switzerland call me, uh, and uh, Kiza, uh, he told a Turkish publisher uh, first wanted to publish his book, but later cancelled because they found the book uh, dangerous. And he asked me, could you publish? I uh, told, yes, we could, uh, and we published. But the same publishing uh, this year at the uh, 100 year of Armenian genocide published very important book of uh, Professor Raymond Kevorkian, uh, 1000 pages book about Armenian genocide. They published this year. So uh, there is a need, a kind of uh, avant garde publishers, independent uh, publishers. So after uh, our publishings, uh, we have difficulties, uh, we pay the bill, uh, but later. Uh, other publishings also dare uh, to publish uh, some books uh, about uh, taboo issues. At the exhibition you can see the basic uh, taboos of Turkey. So this is not only uh, for uh, books, also for press, for articles, uh, for periodicals. Uh, in the 90s, uh, state security course you know, in the world, uh, that kind of course, uh, not so much. Or if they are, they are working, uh, focus on the terror activities. But in Turkey, uh, the terror, uh, the state security course, uh, were busy uh, with uh, more than uh, armed actions uh, than press. And uh, uh, so they were working like a, a press court. It's uh, like China. If uh, it is very easy because there is a afraid in the world, uh, the term uh, terror. If you define something terror connected, so oh, uh, the reactions became stuff. Uh, the China is doing the same. Iran uh, doing the same. 
uh, all authoritarian uh, sta states use that kind of uh, fear at the West. Uh, so, uh, these are the, uh, our uh, problems we face. Uh, but independent uh, publishing uh, needs uh, more ways uh, to reach uh, to the readers. Do they do experiment with uh, with ebooks in Turkey? <coughs> more uh, avant-garde, left field publishers. Do they do they try to widely spread spread the, the, the books through as ebooks instead of physical books? Yeah, it begin, uh, but not enough strong now. But uh, I know many uh, independent uh, publishers eager to go this way, especially for reprints. For example. Uh, in our publishing, uh, 100 uh, books uh, waiting reprint. Uh, we prefer uh, to publish uh, in new uh, titles, new books, uh, in, in, instead of to reprint all the same books because of our limited resources. And uh, we are a non-profit company also in publishing. Uh, for if we were a profit uh, company, sure we should uh, go on only uh, the better uh, seller uh, books. But we want to go on in a mission uh, against the uh, taboos. Also, uh, it is a principle of International Publishers Association. It is uh, the biggest professional organization, but uh, our uh, principle in uh, International Publishers Association also. Uh, publishing is not only a business. Publishing has also an ethical mission uh, to help uh, writing, to help reading and publishing all together. Uh, so we are uh, more focused on this ethical uh, mission in our professional uh, life. Uh, yeah, we were asked to say like uh, 10 minutes for potential questions. I don't know if, if um, some of you have questions for the ship or me. Sure. Yeah. Well, I was curious about the distribution within, say, Istanbul. So you have publishing and you have e-publishing, and you have certain publishers that are willing to kind of risk um, a few things to publish books. But how about dis distributors? independent distributors or even, oh, I don't know uh, if there's something like a, a Craigslist in Istanbul, but when I was living in Egypt and also in China, there was a lot of expat forums where you could kind of sell books that might be banned or certain content used and such. Mm. Is there something like that in Istanbul and is it, you know, gaining steam? It is another obstacle, the distribution system by the companies, big companies, sure they are. Uh, this is another control mechanism, uh, especially uh, in the, the authoritarian countries like Turkey. There are different groups, and so censorship demanding uh, coming not only from the state, but some groups uh, of the society also demanding banning. Uh, for example, you will see the book of uh, Dawkins about uh, the atheist philosopher. And with the complaint uh, of a sect, uh, anti-evolutionary sect, Muslim sect, demanded uh, uh, banning the book. And the uh, first uh, demand didn't come from the state, but a group, or sometimes uh, nationalist groups going to the book, big bookshops, and they ask, uh, why do you selling this? Uh, uh, books about Kurdish or Armenian question. So the sellers also became uh, not so eager uh, from the reaction of, and in Turkey there are enough groups uh, to show that kind of reactions, Islamist or nationalist. So there's no really like independence, uh, independent uh, distributors or, or anything, there's only like then some progressive uh, uh, publishers came uh, together to be able uh, to uh, 
uh, distribute their books. I think, uh, but it is not enough uh, uh, except all uh, independent uh, publishers. But it was a good, a good example. It could be if the independent publishers came together, organize uh, independent distribution. There is hope for that uh, by the branch of uh, internet uh, selling. seeing now in, in, in publishing internationally is that the, the macro trend is I think is that the big ones are growing bigger and then there's uh, loads of publish, small publishing houses coming from, from underneath like underground publishing so I think that only in Sweden um, I mean um, I think it's like four times as many publishers today than it was uh, 15 years ago and uh, most of them are really really small so and this is what Rashid is talking about, because the incitement for publishing books are so different for these kind of, of players, so they kind of diverse, which is a little bit like the same same thing you see in the music industry where I have my background. It's uh, it's uh, it's more diverse, and uh, a lot of small players uh, that are actually using this new kind of economy in order to publish really interesting stuff. And we have lots of examples of. of, of Publishers that would normally wouldn't have been publishers because uh, they don't have the money, and if you use our system, you don't have to risk uh, a single crown. So you you can just publish your books, and that gives them new kind of opportunities. So that's and that's our vision to democratize uh, the publishing process, and, and in order to and, that, and also I think that a lot of publishers that we don't know as publishers today would be. Uh, the biggest publishers, and there's also going to be new players that are not considered as publishers that are going to be on the publishing map. For example, one of the biggest publishers in, in the world right now, one of the big, biggest publishing houses is uh, Red Bull, which is actually a drink, as you know, because they publish, they publish uh, loads and loads and loads of, of uh, photos and uh, photo books, and are making huge money out of publishing, especially on the internet. So, the whole landscape is, is about to totally change and yeah, I think it's, it's not going to be like it used to be because publishing used to be about, um, which, which a lot of publishers tend to forget the reason why, why they are publishers because publishing is about distribution, publishing is about to make it possible for writers to distribute their work to the readers, that's why you run a publishing house and today a lot of publishers think that it's about creative creating content but it's actually more about the distribution thing and then and since this is changing today and it's uh, much easier today to distribute books as ebooks or as print on demand um, the role of the publisher will also change I think uh, so it's uh, yeah I think it's it's a big shift and I would say that in the US uh, they're probably a couple of years ahead of, of us still and, and where this kind of, I would say, almost a revolution is already taking place, actually. Yeah. Uh, both of you have uh, talked about this with uh, the books, the websites. Mm -hmm. It's the threats to the books, the threats of printing the books, yeah. when it's so easy to just shut down the site. Yeah, I know, that's, yeah. Can I mean, you comment on that, both of you? Yeah, I saw actually Rajib uh, sent me a, a, a Turkish uh, web service where they actually list banned pages, which was a really great uh, example of what you can do. It's, but but it's, it's, that's a real problem and, and that's, that's, um, uh, that's a bit about how the, the, the web have been constructed before, but even that is about to change because uh, through new kind of publishing channels uh, also on the, on, on and how you publish things on the internet, uh, publishing becomes more and more viral and more and more uh, less and less dependent on uh, 
the geographic, geograph, uh, geograph, what do you say? The geographic. Geographic. I mean, it's, it doesn't really matter if you, you can be a Turkish publishing sitting in Sikhto and a published book in Turkey, and, and you can use uh, an American company or a Swedish company in order to actually reach that market. That's all already happening, and meaning that it's harder and harder for the authorities to actually shut down pages because it doesn't help them really, because they're it's just going to show up somewhere else. And that's also interesting because that makes it even, I think, stronger as, um, as an object, the book, than, for example, YouTube or Facebook or, or these huge kind of distribution channels that are all, all they're all uh, through one channel, like Twitter is through Twitter, right? Or, or Instagram or whatever is through one channel. It's very, very easy to manipulate. And when you're on board, they can easily follow you. And, and it's very, very hard to actually um, hide. You're, you're, it's, it's very, you know, in the hands of, of, of one or two or three really big players. So that's like the antithesis of, of diverse. So this is also happening at the same time. Huge players taking control over publishing at the same time so, uh, at, as loads and loads of small, really progressive players are coming from underneath and partly are taking part of these kind of new services. So it's a very, uh, it's, it's a very uh, complex map, I would say. Yeah. Uh, always after a big uh, technical uh, revolution, like internet may, may excel the uh, technical revolution, computer systems. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, after uh, the CDs, uh, people supposed, uh, uh, so there is no need to concerts, so there is uh, no need to do, go, to go to the movie. But movie is going on and all the concerts are fine. And uh, nobody can kill the book uh, because the book is an important part of human heritage, cultural heritage. Might be it might be for the books uh, may trade more bestseller uh, books, less quality books instead of uh, to buy that. But always uh, book will be available in human uh, existence. I believe the book. Thank you. Okay, uh, maybe this is the last word. <laughs> it was a good word. Yeah. Thank you very much.